I just had another art playdate with my friend Kim Diaz home. And just like last month's playdate, Donna decided it would be fun to paint my nails. The color she chose was called To Me You Are Perfect by Olive in June. It, it was just purplish red to me. The subject for today was Greek gods, and I picked Athena. And rather than coming up with something on my own, I decided to use this photo reference of a statue in Athens for my reference. Kim decided to paint Aphrodite, and in his typical fashion, he just started drawing out of his head. And I was feeling a little bit intimidated by his ability to draw anything out of his head and I asked him how he was able to get costumes and everything right without any reference and all from his imagination. It was at this point that he showed me that he did have reference, he did do some research, he did a lot of research, he read books, he studied, he went through Wikipedias and he looked at artwork and sculptures and he was really prepared. All I did was Google Athena statues. Kim researched, he studied, and I felt kind of stupid afterwards. A lot of times people make stuff look so easy and we think that it's just effortless that they have some sort of magical powers when in reality they just put the work into it. They took the time to study something or learn something or get good at something. Kim always makes everything he does look effortless. He makes it look so natural. But that comes from drawing every day. It comes from studying. It comes from observing the world around him. He spent years, decades honing his craft and he's still learning every day. And I'm saying this because a lot of us compare ourselves to other artists, like I am with Kim right here. We see another artist's brilliance, we see how easy they make it look, and we think to ourselves, we'll never be that good, we'll never be that confident, that capable. And I'm telling you from experience, that's all a facade. That's just our perception of the other artist. If I was to ask Kim how confident he was, he would quickly laugh in my face, I'm sure. We're all struggling. We all deal with imposter syndrome. We're all envious of other artists. We're human and that's okay. But I hope this gives you some perspective. I'm not saying the imposter syndrome will ever go away. I don't think it ever does. I'm not saying we're ever gonna feel confident in our art. I don't know if that'll ever happen either. But don't ever let that stop you from making art and don't ever let that stop you from enjoying other people's art. Even if they're super annoyingly talented, like my friend Kim.